like in love with reading. They always brought me comfort during hard times. I assumed that if I can help like a little kid who's like undergoing cancer treatment, like books can help them feel a little better. I'm gonna do it. So um, I started the book drive. It was stage four thyroid cancer and his chances of surviving were minimal, but um, fortunately he did. Um, the surgery was successful. I've never been in a hospital in my life. And the first thing I go in for the surgery and the feeding tube operation, all that went okay, except I cannot talk very clearly since I lost 75% of my vocal cords. So I sort of used books as a distraction. I always love it when characters get their happy ending, and they usually do. And, you know, I sort of used that as like a source of hope for me. It was sort of an overnight idea. I sent out a message on Nextdoor. It's, um, I asked for book donations. It started flooding in. My brother and I would spend our summer just driving from house to house, picking up like boxes of books people had for me. So Georgetown was actually the hospital my dad was treated for cancer. It's always been very special to me just because, you know, they were able to save my dad. We reach our, to our patients every day, and books are used really to piggyback what's going on in the classroom, um, make that connection to home, um, and give them a sense of normalcy. You know, when you're helping others, uh, you, you totally forget your pain. And look at there's so many kids um, happy and uh, getting books. Whatever a family does, she's a profession. She always do the best she can. I see myself doing this forever and ever just because I love it so much. It's like my favorite part of my day. I can't wait to finish school to just do book drive stuff. And right now it's really small. It's just like Maryland, DC, Virginia, but hopefully I can expand other states. <laughs>